Alright, this is my review on the MOGA game controller that's for Android. Let's take it out of the case here. This isn't the premium version, they do have a premium version, but I like this version because you can clip your phone to it. It does take batteries. Um, it's adjustable. Right now I'm going to demo it with the LG Optimus, or it's not Optimus anymore, it's just the G2. And so you place it here into the little clip. I have a case on it so it makes it a little bit more difficult, but now you have the buttons. So I'll go here, joystick, and open up the pilot. Now I've already sunk this to it, and it also gives you apps. Turn on Bluetooth, and then you can turn this on. It even gives you advertisement. So it tells you when it's ready, it searches for the controller. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's kind of handy. Uh, you can download multiple apps just from Google Store, and they all work with this device. It comes with a free Sonic game that you can download if you uh, allow unknown sources. But once that's sunk in there, I didn't turn on first, but it should be ready. See, now it tells you you can download free stuff, but we're not going to do that now. And then it wants me to register and all that. Let me just get on. Alright, so then I can just go and look here and it'll tell me what I already have on my thing. Right now I have a couple different ones. Um, we'll go with the, this one. It actually makes it a little bit easier. I have a problem with the screen being too slippery. And it makes it kind of, you muddle around, this clears it up. You have multiple joysticks and all this other mess. And it's pretty sturdy, you know, it clips in there pretty good. This phone's pretty good with uh, the higher end games. Uh, I've got this set all the way up to max and it performs pretty well. Uh, no, no glitches or anything. So you just run around. This is your view, obviously. And then this is your guy running. And then these buttons do that. But yeah, pretty good. So. <sighs> Go back into here. Slide that off. Okay. We'll try another one. Like, let's try this one here. This one always wants to download like mass quantities. It's kind of hard to play because it seems like every time I go to play it, it wants to download something. And see, I've never actually played this game with it, so let's see how it works. It looks like you just push forward and then you move the controller left, right. Ooh. Well, obviously, not very good at this. It has a little bit of feel to it, but I'm not really sure what it's doing. I'm sure there's a, there's a learning curve compared to just being able to touch this. Anyway, that's my review. It's a pretty cool device. It seems we're just fine with the Optimus, or the G2 LG. But, hmm.